So after we've uh, successfully installed the bike trainer to our road bike, so we're down to our, you know, we're down to the exciting part. How can we convert this bike trainer into a smart trainer? So there are two things that we need to do. Uh, first off, uh, we need a cadence or speed sensor that has to be installed uh, on the rear wheel of the bike. And second is the application that we need to use or what we need to install on the cell phone, okay? So first, I'd like to show you what is the speed sensor or the cadence sensor that I used for this bike. There you go. So this is a sanding speed and cadence sensor. I bought this in Lazada actually. Again, uh, I gotta put the link to the description section of this video. So this is only around 600 pesos I think as far as I could remember. There are two magnets when you buy this uh, item. So the first one is you need to install on your spoke. This one. So this will serve as your speed sensor. So the sensor is here, okay? And then uh, this portion is where the battery actually goes. And this one is serves also as your cadence sensor. So it's very simple. You just need to install uh, this magnet to your pedal on this portion, okay? So this uh, magnet uh, should um, should be aligned to your cadence sensor here okay okay so the next question is uh, what mobile applications or application are we going to install uh, to use this uh, speed sensor so what I'm using is actually Wow Sports so you can download this on Google Play or from App Store it's actually free so once you open it you need to create a profile so what i did is i basically just use my facebook account there are no paired or link sensors yet so what we are going to do is click this part so just click add sensor so it's currently detecting uh, a speed sensor so there you go so it was able to see that there's a speed sensor nearby if you're having hard time connecting the sanding speed sensor to your uh, smartphone or to the applications, try to move your magnet or your speed sensor so that uh, it will uh, be detected. It will help actually detect. Currently, it is uh, searching. So now it's connected. Yeah, connected. Click save. Save sensor. So just click done. So the next thing is how can we ensure that it is working? So let's go back to workout. Just click back here. Okay, so when you click back, you would notice there's a link sensors connected here on this portion, right? We selected cycling. So let's click the start workout. So this is the front panel of the application. So you have the cadence uh, sensor here. You have the heart rate sensor here. So if you have a heart rate uh, monitoring for that can be installed on your chest, you can use that and connect on this app. Then you have the speed sensor, uh, speed here. And you have the workout time here. And you have the distance uh, that you travel. And there's a pause, lock, and lock button here. Let's check if it's gonna work. So let's rotate this one. So notice that the current speed is around 15 kilometers per hour and the current uh, cadence is around 50. That's the RPM. So the distance traveled currently is 0.1 kilometers. You can actually configure that uh, distance if you want to make it on kilometers or in miles. You can change it on the settings. Okay. After I stop the the pedal, of course, the the cadence and the speed back is back to zero. Okay. So currently the distance that we've traveled was. 
1.21 kilometers. So how are we going to save that? Just click the pause button here. Uh, you can resume your activity or you can save it by clicking this uh, stop button. Stop. So there's an option here. If you're, going to, if you're going to discard or save your workout. So let's try to save it. Alright, so this is the summary. So as a cyclist, uh, we often actually use Strava. So if you would notice, there's a share button here at the top portion of the app. So what you're going to do is just click this uh, share button. So there are two applications uh, linked already on my Wahoo account. The health app from iPhone and the Strava. Okay, so notice on health app, it's, it's already uploaded. So in Strava, how can you upload it? Just click that particular application. Let's try if it's going to be uploaded. So it's reading, processing. There you go. Notice there's a notification that your activity is done, right? So your ride is ready to use. Let's check it out. All right. So there goes the distance, the 0.21 kilometers. Of course, the elevation gain is zero. We're just on the stationary. Moving time is 56 seconds. The power generated is 44 watts. Wow, three calories. And the average speed is 13.6 kilometers per hour. Amazing, right? Yeah. All right, so basically that's how you could convert your um, regular indoor trainer into a smart trainer so you would notice we were able to successfully uploaded our 0.2 kilometers uh, activity into my Strava account right of course the critical part is uh, you need this uh, cadence and speed sensor and of course you need the Wahoo uh, application installed on your uh, cell phone okay.